Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2015 Dynamic Billiard European Championships for the Youth. We're back from lovely Alpendorf St. Johann in Austria, and uh, the balls are rolling in the straight pool competition. Um, the first rounds have been played, and there were no upsets at all. We have 39 players in the under-19 category, and none of the medalists from last year, which were gold medal Joshua Filler from Germany, silver medal Spasian Spaza from Bulgaria, bronze medal Daniel Tangut and Chen Chang from Sweden, they all reached the age limit and therefore cannot participate anymore in the under-19 championships this year. However, we do have the defending champion in the under-17, which is a field composed of 37 players, and that is the most successful player from last year, Poland's Daniel Maciu. He is playing with us. Uh, also, the runner-up from the Netherlands, Jan van Lierop, is in the field of the under-17s. And uh, the third-ranked player last year, Maxim Dudanets from Russia. He is now promoted to the under-19s, so we will have a close eye on how these guys are doing here. And uh, here I would like to say that it can be noticed that Germany, again, has not nominated any players in the straight pool competition here, which is hard to understand for many people because Germany has always been a very successful country, especially in the straight pool competition. Uh, we have tried to get answers for that, but we could not uh, get an answer from any of the officials here. So um, this is uh, up to everybody's own uh, opinion as to why there is no German participation in the straight pool competition here in the European Championships for the Youth. Let's go back to the competition now. As I mentioned earlier, there were no big uh, upsets in the preliminaries at all. So uh, let's jump into the single elimination rounds. And the two favorites of the under-17, which were Jan van Lierop and Daniel Maggio, they easily made their way to the single elimination. And so did the favorite players in the under-19s. And here we can see uh, how a draw is done. This is the draw for the under-19s and the tournament director at the Junge with the help of the sports director Sander Hanf. They are uh, letting the, to uh, the team leaders draw the cards for the players and here we can see the referee Miha Vovko entering the players' names into the system, getting ready to go for the next round. And the round of the last 32 players, the single elimination in the under-19, we did have some interesting results here. We had uh, Cyril Ledoux from the Netherlands winning 100-61 to over Mehmet Ali Zöskin from Turkish North Cyprus. We had a clash of two very uh, good players. We had Andreas Matzen from Denmark playing with Oliver Scholnocki from Hungary. In the end, Matzen remained the, uh, Matzen remained the upper hand, winning 100 to 57 over Scholnocki. Pius Labutis from Lithuania also took his match very clear over Alberto Buratelli from Italy. 100 to 13 was the final result in favor of Labutis. Another very clear result happened in the match between Daniel Gutenberger from Austria and his teammate Daniel Resch. 100 to 20 was the final result in favor of Gutenberger. And then we had the match between Maxim Dudanets from Russia and uh, Sandrino Fillet from the Netherlands. And uh, it was really smooth sailing from Dudanets. He was uh, so confident at the table, he pocketed balls, he, he was uh, really one with the table. It looked like he felt very comfortable and everything was good for him. And the final result was 100 to 11 in favor of Dudanets, which puts him through to the next round of the last 16 players. Here's a short statement from Dudanets after the match. Okay, Maxim, you just won the match over the Dutch player very convincingly. What do you think about the match? Was it smooth sailing for you? Yeah, I just catch my style and play my, my game and uh, just shoot and uh, think about the game, uh, play with balls and table, not opening. Okay, this is your first year in the under-19. Last year you were third place in the under-17. Um, I think you're one of the favorite players already in the under-19 here. How do you think, uh, what do you think about that? Of course, I want to win, but uh, here play a lot of uh, strong players like uh, Daniel Gutenberger, 
from uh, uh, Schalnokia volleyball from Hungary, I think uh, also stronger, and from Denmark, uh, Madsen, uh, Andres. Okay, you are playing the men's Euro Tour for uh, quite some years now, starting as a very young player. Do you think this is an advantage for you, that it helped you? Of course, I get experience, a uh, lot of experience, because uh, in our country it's enough play for me, uh, because uh, there are just two strong players, Ruslan Chinakhov and Konstantin Stepanov. But in Europe, uh, Ralf Suke, Nils Fein, Nick Vandenberg and a lot of great players. And for me, of course, I, uh, I see how they play, I learn, and that's all. <laughs> well, currently, the uh, last 32 players single elimination of the under-17s are playing their underway. And uh, tonight, at a quarter to seven, the, both divisions will play the round of the last 16 players. And uh, we will have all the action live for you. If you want, you can check it out on kazoom.com, get a premium membership and follow the action on 24 tables uh, throughout the youth, throughout the Euro Tour, if you like, throughout the seniors, the whole year, even if you like. So make sure you get your premium membership now and don't miss out on anything. If you need information about the tournament, the schedules, the player profiles or anything, please check epconline.eu. That's it for the moment from Alpendorf St. Johann. I will see you later. Bye bye for now.